Okay, so uh, we've been looking at all the cards in um, the season one, all the cards available for season one. It's starter deck one, starter deck two, and then the first expansion. Um, and this is all of the cards in the first expansion that are like that we're playing with right now. There's a few more, but um, they'll get released uh, with the second expansion, I'm guessing, or as their own like little expansion because. They're kind of more like um, the cards aren't necessarily like really good. They're more like theme cards. Um, and I guess the first, I was like six minutes for the first starter deck, eight minutes for the second. Uh, this is like three times bigger. I might I might break it up into parts, but we'll see. Uh, so card one is a Hinata. If this card is attacking, and Kagiyama is it. In the toss area, you may pay two guts to add plus two to your attack. So four attack is good. It's kind of expensive, and you kind of need like a lot of things going well. Uh, or you, you know, you, Kageyama needs to be tossing uh, to get plus two attack. I, it, it's nice because you're not losing a card from your hand, uh, but you're using a lot of guts as opposed to the Hinata from the starter deck where you just discard a card to get plus two. I'm not sure which is better. It just kind of depends on the deck. Uh, if you're using your guts for a lot of different things, this probably isn't what you want to use. But, um, you know, just average stats. 2-0, two, 2-2. Two, two. He can be a 4 attack. It's pretty good. Um, another Hinato with a special ability. If this card is the top card of the attack area guts, and you play an attacker other than Hinata, it can't be blocked. This is just like... Like making things unblockable is really, really good. And the fact that this isn't in your hand, you don't need to use an extra card. It's just going to do that from sitting at the top of the guts. Um, I'll show how it works exactly. So here's our play area. If I did an attack, uh, like one turn, and he's sitting here, then my next attack or my next turn I receive, I toss. If he's on the top and I throw him down, um, I'm doing an attack for three plus one off the toss, so four. But since Hinata is here, it's unblockable, um, which is really nice because sometimes you just have like you've been saving up for a really good block, and then if someone makes the attack unblockable, it can really wreck your day. So unblockable stuff is good. I, I like this card. Um, I don't know how strong it is because. Your previous turn, you just had like a th pretty basic attack, a three attack, which is easier to, to receive. Um, and you can't play like a Hinata on top, so I, that wouldn't work if um, this was my guts and I played him on top. It has to be a different attacker. So, uh, and yeah, O O three two, pretty. It, it's all right. Uh, here's just like a a, a better card with less special abilities. I think having the special abilities on Hinata is important. Like having just a, a vanilla Hinata, I don't know how important it is. Uh, it's it's a good card though, because three attack and three block is huge and he can still receive. So um, in general, it's a good card. I don't know if I would make it fit into a deck. Um, and here's another variation. Uh, no special ability, but three receive and three uh, attack. I feel that, yeah, it, it's pretty interesting because the the times where you're going to want to have Hinata like receiving it, is pretty low. Um, there's probably like some interesting decks around like having him be more versatile, but I, I like having him attack. If this card is tossing and Hinata is attacking, you may pay two guts to add plus one attack, and the opponent may only use one blocker this is this turn. So only one blocker, it's basically um, unblockable, except there's cards like this where he has five block off one card. So there are a few like really good blockers, like this is a, an example. Um, uh, there's there's some others out there, like but one. Only one blocker is practically unblockable. Uh, to me, it seems pretty expensive because guts are so valuable, especially like for card draw. So plus one attack and one blocker. Um, it's basically he's giving plus two attack. I don't know. Maybe that is pretty good. 
you can get to six pretty easy. Like if you set up a Hinata uh, or set up this Hinata, discarding a card and two guts to have a six attack that only one blocker can have. That's basically unblockable. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good card. Uh, stats are nothing, nothing really great, but one toss is always nice because it's hard to get bonuses to your attack um, through other cards, but like having it in your toss, like consistently is important. Um, really good blocker with good toss. Uh, if I was running like a block deck, I might run it over the, over this Kageyama, but I don't know, no special abilities on like really key characters like Kageyama, Hinata, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, here's a just a balanced Kageyama with receive. Uh, three, one. Uh, oh, well, and I guess the four serve. I was overlooking that. Uh, three serve on this also. Um, this has four serve. Uh, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, so I mean, four serve is massive. I could easily see if you're running like a serve strong deck where you're just like every turn uh, you're smashing down like a four, four serve you'll get one by eventually. Um, that's pretty good. And there's cards to give bonuses. So oh, that's pretty interesting. The four serve is cool. Um, another Kageyama. If this card is in the toss area, add plus one attack to Hinata or a character with three or less attack. Um, so basically, uh, this is pretty good because if you have like a, a weak attack, let's say, um, uh, let's just this uh, Daichi, he's at three. If he tossed, uh, if this card is in toss area, add plus one attack to Hinata or a character with three or less. So he has three or less. So we get plus one um, and you're tossing for one. So this like kind of just normal card, balanced card, it's atta attacking for five. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is like a really good card. Um, the stats aren't good, but it has block and it has toss, so it kind of makes up for it. And serve three, um, like kind of forcing people to use one of their better receivers off the serve can kind of make a big difference. If you're throwing like a one or a two serve, like pretty much anyone can receive it and it's not messing up their game plan too much. But if you're smashing three or four, um, it's good. Just a vanilla Daichi, but good receive, good attack. I think he has some block, so it's not too bad. And to serve. Here's another uh, Daichi. If this card is in the receive area, you may pay two guts to draw a card. Um, so he can do that. Uh, this Kageyama can do that. There's like a few cards uh, that you can pay two guts to draw a card. Um, it says one. Which is good, like drawing is really, really nice, especially uh, it can be the difference between you like winning the the set and losing it if you have, you know, just one extra card. The problem is if you like run all the draw cards, like you burn through your guts so fast, like it's dead most of the time for drawing. Um, but this is, it, it's good. You should always have some card draw from what I can tell so far. Um, and one serve. We'll go down in the next. Another Daichi with uh, just, you know, average stats. Good attack, some receive and uh, block. Sometimes when you get blocked and you need to receive like a weak attack, like having some bounce cards is good. Uh, Sugawara. So this is a Karasuno only. Um, I don't know if I explained it, but in the top left corner of the card, it shows like what school their school colors. It's like Karasuno is orange, black, and white. Uh, Nekuma is like red and black. And Seijo is like this kind of teal and white. So that's how you know what school there are. If you run a deck um, that says like a school only, like this Karasuno only, every uh, player card in your deck has to be from that school. So you can't like mix in uh, Oikawa like for good serves. It, your deck isn't. Uh, Karasuno only because it's mixed. Um, it, that only counts with the player cards. If there's specials that have like these pictures on it, that that doesn't mean Karasuno. That doesn't affect your Karasuno only deck. Anyway, so that's Karasuno only. Uh, if this card is in the toss area, you may pay two guts to draw a card. Another one of those. 
Um, yeah, having someone as good, like, to use a lot of guts, you have to draw a lot of cards and play a lot of cards. So um, you're not, like, having opportunities to pay a lot of guts usually. Just a, a good a toss and good attack. Um, I, I kind of like how they tie the show in to the cards because sometimes, like, uh, the captain, you know, like, does... I can't remember what's called, not like a sneak attack, but they um, just like hit an easy shot over to score. So it's kind of cool. I really like this card because if this card is in the toss area, you may pay two guts to search your discard pile for one uh, Azume or Nishinoya and draw it. So like there's very few where you're actually searching for a card you want. Usually you're just drawing a random card. The fact that you can go through your discard pile for a very specific card is good. And there's some like good combo pieces with that. So um, this is a good card in certain decks. Stats are just you know normal. One toss is good. Uh, Tanaka, if this if Hinata is the top card of the attack area, guts, and you play this as the attacker, you may pay three guts to add plus three attack. So this puts him at a five. Um, and so like here we have Hinata at the top. If we put played him. We could pay three guts, which we have one, two, three, um, to put it at a five attack, which is huge. And if we look at this, uh, if this card is a top card of the attack area guts and you play an attacker other than Hinata, it can't be blocked. So basically, it was expensive, but you have a five unblockable off this combo. So it's like a really solid combo. Um, this is a good card. Uh, it's ex really expensive. Three guts, like that's hard to do, and like burning through your guts is sad sometimes. But um, yeah, there's a like a really good combo there, uh, and it's kind of like when the defenders see like Hinata going up for a quick attack, and they all go after him, and then he they send it to Tanaka instead, and he smashes it down. So it's pretty cool. I like the flavor of that. Um, just a good stat: three receive, uh, three attack. Uh, one block. Um, another on oh, uh, two serve, three serve, two serve, two serve. Um, a good attack blocker. Um, pretty good. Uh, Tsukishima, just another you know good attack and block. Um, I've noticed you you really want like seven to eight different uh different characters in your deck um so you know having these like kind of good statted cards is important uh, here's a more balanced one you're sacrificing one block for two receive uh and he has a two serve so that's pretty good um but yeah no special abilities i like special abilities Here's another, um, you're sacrificing uh, another block for more receive. So I, uh, blocking is like very, very situational. Um, so sometimes like having better receive is more important. Like you can't block a serve anyway. You can't block a block anyway. So like stacking tons and tons of block, um, you don't really need to do. And there's better cards for it. Like uh, this special ability from the starter deck, this Tsukishima is just way better. Um, and his stats, yeah, are, are okay. Let's see. We're at 14 minutes. I'm going to stop here. I'll go to the next clip. We'll pick it back up.